Midsummer Night's Dream is one of Shakespeare's truly great plays. The worlds within it are so fertile for creativity. I've found that the most successful designs of the globe usually just create an environment for the story to be told. My first conversations with Elle about Dream were all based around kind of the relationship between the globe and Mother Nature and nature itself, given that the globe is built of sort of over a thousand oak trees. I think our intervention on this occasion will be subtle, but what we'll notice is the idea that Mother Nature is trying to drag back some of the architecture. The natural world was kind of our way in thinking about how the natural world isn't always pretty as you might think of it, but it can be scary as well as beautiful. You can explore the violence that happens for some of the characters through visually going there with the costumes. They have a purpose, so they all start deconstructing as they go. Mm -hmm. And we see the narrative story happening visually as well on what they're wearing. All the costumes have a duality, especially the fairies. They represent elements of nature, but also we're creating these wonderful spines that is their kind of nerve system, if you like. It's nice to see that we can refresh stories by having collaborations and conversations between periods. We are taking a lot of vintage uniforms, which then we change them to overalls, and then we change them to Elizabethan shapes. And I love that tautness of the string between now and then. We've talked a little about flipping it on its head slightly, so rather than Athens being this place of law and order, we've looked to a sort of a, a sonic, a musical representation of the hedonism of ancient Athens. In fact, one of the actors said something really interesting, which has spoken to my um, process whilst composing. They said that they felt like the forest was to Athens what a, a smoking area is to a club. Our parameters sort of increase creativity and our parameters are sort of extreme compared to most modern theatres. I've never worked anywhere that feels quite as alive as the globe. It's a very idiosyncratic theatre. The theatrical forces that are available to the vast majority of theatres around the world, be it sound design and lighting design, they aren't available at the globe and that's its great challenge but also its great opportunity.